What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, we're going to get back to doing quite a bit of solar um, videos this spring. And uh, I'm going to start things off a little bit. I did a, a video the other day of upgrading my solar panel system from 12 volt to 24 volt. And, and now I'm going to do a review and kind of some testing of this light fuse 20 watt solar panel. Um, that I just got. Um, so we're going to unbox that and test it out a little bit. While I'm unboxing it, I, I ordered it from Amazon. Currently it's $59 free shipping with Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime, you should. It's great. So, got the uh, specifications of the panel. We should, when we test this in a minute, we should be getting 22.8 volts open circuit. It's pretty much high noon right now, um, so we should be getting a pretty good test. So here's what it looks like. Um, looks good, there's no blemishes. I don't see any discolored panels or any solder or any any issues whatsoever. No, there's no no bent uh, frame or anything like that. Um, it doesn't come with any connectors, so make sure that you are aware of that. It doesn't come with MC4 connectors or anything like that. Um, and if you're going to be wiring this. Uh, with, with other panels, you're going to want to put a diode on it, probably. So, and here's the, uh, the manufactured specs again. Pretty typical stuff. Anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a test. I'm going to connect, connect this to my uh, voltmeter. And we're okay, before we get this connected and tested out, I wanted to point out a couple things. First of all, I wanted to point out that this is a monocrystalline panel. As you can see, the edges are rounded off. And that's the telltale sign that you can tell that this is a monocrystalline panel. Um, the difference between a monocrystalline panel and a polycrystalline panel is efficiency. The mono panels are more efficient, but they do cost a, a slight bit more. Um, but I like it because it is going to be a little more efficient and it's going to be able to handle the ambient temperature a little bit better, a little bit higher temperature handling. Now one drawback to this, to this panel, as you can see on the back here, is that it is not UL listed. So if that's a problem for you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can't adequately explain what UL listing is in a quick little review video. Okay, so here we have uh, the panel set up with my voltmeter. Um, once again, we're in pretty much direct sunlight. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, we've got 21.2 volts open circuit. Um, the spec sheet said 22, but that's under kind of ideal test conditions. So looks like it checks out. Um, my initial impressions of the panel are good. Um, one of the things I like about it is the the longer shape, kind of rectangular shape instead of a square. For my application, that's going to work better um, than, than kind of more of a square shape. And um, so you may or may not like that, but it's a little bit different than, than the average panel, which is a lot more square shape um, of this size anyway. For the 10, 20, uh, 30 watt sizes, they, they tend to come more in a, a square shape. So. Anyway, that's my initial review. I will get it mounted and put it through the paces and maybe do another review later on to show you guys uh, what it can do real world. Thanks for watching.